I didn't really know what to expect. I knew it was going to be huge, <laughs> but um, I'd never seen this before, and I'd never seen a sinkhole before, so it was beyond anything I'd expected, just the size and I guess the depth of it. Our sinkhole here at the National Corvette Museum, as it turned out, was a, was a cave that was about 80 feet deep and about 240 feet wide. Probably the game plan will be to, to keep the uh, sinkhole open through mid-September for visitors and guests to see and keep the grade eight, the cars that were in the, in the sinkhole that collapsed into the sinkhole, we'll keep them out on display and then probably sometime this fall begin construction or reconstruction or rebuilding. Our May 2013 attendance was uh, 9,000 and change. Uh, our May 2014 attendance was 17,000 and change. So almost a 100% increase there. Whether they leave it as its own curiosity or fill it in or uh, uh, put a bridge over it, uh, um, it's, it's a real good question because uh, I don't know, it's, a, it's a tourist attraction all in itself, uh, uh, the whole.